Hello guys, Impact here, again. You guys have been asking me for Karma Games, therefore I must deliver. So yeah, um, one thing that I should say is that my um, ability to actually land skill shots with Karma is beyond, uh, how do I say this, atrocious? Uh, horrible? So yeah, bear that in mind. Um, while watching this video, I, I was I don't play Karma that often, so I uh, I was still getting used to the skill shot range because I actually use Smart Cast or Quick Cast, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much why I was missing so many skill shots during Landing Fest. But uh, still, uh, I thought it was it was a pretty decent game, especially after Landing Fest. God damn it, cell phone! So, uh, it's always the same thing on these commentaries, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so bear that in mind, but after the lightning fights, it was pretty damn fun to play. So, Karma's actually pretty good against, um, kill lanes, or even, uh, some poke lanes. She's pretty decent against Thresh, as long as you can poke him and reduce his, uh, his lane presence, you'll do fine. But yeah, as you can see here, I started missing a few... Um, a few cues, a few skill shots. What you want to do is pretty much during landing phase is just uh, use your mantra to uh, maximize damage on your Q whenever you hit someone. Oh, and by the way, did I mention Wukong win complete beast mode on this game? Holy shit, that guy carried. Uh, but yeah, so another skill shot missed there. I used it to uh, actually push the minions. <laughs> Fun stuff. So while you, you guys watch me miss terribly, miserably, Whatever. Let me just talk about my uh, item, starting item choices. You can go for Darn Shield, but it re kind of reduces your mana regen, so it's not optimal. Uh, and you're a pretty safe laner as well, so you can definitely go for um, just Ancient Coin if you like. Uh, we managed to get Res really, really low. I, I actually used my uh, Ignite there. Uh, but yeah, Nautilus shows up, so uh, that was kind of iffy. Um, Devam ends up, Varus ends up getting killed, but then we pick off a kill onto uh, Thresh. Ezreal was there, I didn't think he had mana, enough mana to actually uh, kill me with uh, with his Q, but it turns out he did! So, misposition there. Wasn't that bad though. Uh, but yeah, let me talk a little bit about my item choices. So, I, I started with Ancient Coin because I want to be uh, HP, uh, HP regen as well as mana regen and I want to start my gold income flowing as early as possible. Now, I, I actually want to go for Talisman of Ascension even though I have a lot of poke potential and you'll see that I actually build a few damage items. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go for Talisman of Ascension because if you uh, use Defiance or use your shield speed up whatever onto Wukong while he's stealth, while using Talis Talisman as well, you're gonna increase his movement speed by 100%. So he's gonna have a lot of engaging potential. A lot of engaging potential. Like, um, Talisman of Ascension or Encarnamer is absolutely awesome. So uh, that's what I was trying to go for. I actually get a hook here, but uh, no biggie. Uh, so yeah, Virus get ends up uh, killed again, but uh, Wukong shows up again and saves the days. Did I mention this Wukong is a freaking beast? Seriously, he's a freaking beast, dude. Uh, but yeah, so once again, going back to landing phase, I'm not doing so bad this game. So 0, 1, 2, not that bad. Could be, could have been a lot better if I actually landed skill shots. But yeah, at least I'm trying to keep the um, the lane warded, right? So I use a, a, a pink ward on the uh, tri-bush so Wukong can actually gank. But yeah, Nautilus shows up again. Um, and Katarina shows up again to shows up as well to clean up the fight. We actually end up getting t uh, three kills out of that because they actually went pretty damn deep to get to us. Um, Varus ends up dying again, but it's not no biggie really. Kar uh, Katarina got two kills out of that room bottom, so it, it wasn't that bad. And Wukong's going hyphy again, so he's six, six one zero right now. I'm zero two five because I, because I actually got an assist off of. Uh, off of all the people who dive this. Um, let me just go back here to the Drake point. So, one of the things that you should totally focus on while playing solo queue, whether you're playing, or League of Legends for that matter, if you're playing support, if you're playing whatever, you want to get objectives. So Wukong actually dodges uh, Thresh's death sentence there with his, um, with his clone, so it's pretty good. We re-engage onto uh, Thresh. 
uh, with shield and whatnot and slows it was actually pretty good because we managed to get a uh, drake and a kill afterwards Karina actually gets got here um, but it's kind of it's fine still like it's not that big of a deal it would have been a lot better if she didn't get caught but it's still uh, we're 2k gold more than 2k gold ahead at this point we have Drake we have more kills so it's fine now uh, with we're trying to push our advantage to just uh, keep the enemies under their own turret because that's <clears throat> pretty much goddammit impact that's pretty much where I want to poke them right I can poke them beneath the turret because I have a sick long ass range um, and yeah, like there's no reason not to, to push, and it's gonna it's gonna reduce um, their their aggression. So Varus actually engages here, which which was pretty cool. Um, I actually walk into the uh, Thresh's wall by mistake. I I try to flash that sentence, but he uh, hooks at EOP. Um, but yeah, Karina shows up, so I'm not too afraid, and uh, I'm just pretty much I'm using defiance here. So it's mantra shield to uh, speed every one of your teammates uh, so yeah you can pretty much get the kill I didn't want to get the kill myself so I'm speeding everyone up so they can get the kill easily and uh, yeah at this point we're trying to push the turret so we can get another objective and snowball even further because right now meh uh, Varus already has three kills and five assists so we're pretty damn in the lead uh, as it is so we don't really need to stick to the landing phase and Riven's pushing non-stop so we kind of want to roam mid and stop her from uh, from push from pushing from pushing what the um, so we need to get the middle turret as fast as possible so yeah we're just getting the uh, the bottom turret here so let me go back again because this Wukong keeps going hyphy on me so yeah Wukong's there right uh, goes hyphy uses alt I'm just speeding him up so the uh, so his ult deals uh, gets more targets and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, he's completely unstoppable at this point. So with my shield, he can pretty much uh, land his ult on every single target, and uh, he can pretty much gap close to everyone, and get the kills that he wanted. So that's pretty much my main utility thus far: just slowing people down because I'm not building damage, um, and uh, just speeding our my, my teammates up and helping them engage now notice that I actually have talisman so I use talisman there to actually uh, increase Wukong's uh, movement speed even further um, so he uh, he managed to yeah that's pretty much why he managed to go in so deep so fast and get the kill onto Ezreal because of the, those uh, that a hundred percent movement speed increase um, but yeah, Varus gets caught here, but no biggie because Kyrie is there and I can actually land the snare onto Riven. But Ezreal shows up, we weren't really expecting it, but no harm, no foul. We don't, uh, it, we don't actually uh, give away any kills. Now, Wukong fed as he is, he just decides to go in. We get Nautilus, Riven has to flash away because sh they really don't have uh, the damage to compete with us right now. So what I want to do here is just... Uh, poke people down under their turret and uh, snare them when they come in so we can actually uh, be somewhat safe and speed things up if we want to engage or in this case run away so that's pretty much my my uh, utility uh, while pushing this turret it's pure utility karma so you want to speed people up if they engage onto you and you want to poke them and you want to snare them if you can actually get the kill or yeah that's pretty much your utility. I'm going complete uh, siege utility. Uh, so that's what I what I want to do. Karma is incredibly good at sieging because of her kit, because of her range. Uh, so that's pretty much the main thing that you want to be looking for when playing Karma. And my cat's going complete high feet. Uh, so they try to engage onto us. So I'm just speeding uh, me and Varus up. Um, he actually manages to land the. Uh, uh, pretty nice uh, ultimate there, but uh, yeah, we can't really follow up because uh, Katarina wasn't with us. Meanwhile, Wukong just showed up um, on their back, went complete hyphy again, and yeah, people ended up dead. Uh, Katarina actually tries to go in, even though she uh, it, it was really risky. I tried to help her, but she uh, ends up dead again because uh, yeah, she tried to help Wukong uh, here. Um, but Wukong ended up getting getting out of there safe. 
uh, carrying the didn't though. But it's fine. We get to the middle, middle turret. I'm just slowing people down so they can't really follow us. Going back to the base, getting some more items. So at this point, I have all the utility I need. I have Talisman, I have Defiant, so that's Mantra, the shield. Um, so I'm just going for Leandris. So I can actually poke them some more when they're underneath the turret. Now, Hunting guys will already help you because of magic uh, penetration, HP, and uh, ability power. But I, what I really want is the uh, Leandris proc. So that's what I'm looking forward to right now. Um, I actually stayed a little bit um, longer than I should have. Riven tries to uh, just chase me down, but it's freaking karma, dude. It's incredibly hard to chase uh, karma down. Um, Varus end ends up getting a uh, kill onto Riven, and we both get killed here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because he went kind of hyphy. But it's still not a problem. Like, we are four kills ahead, but it's not about kills. We are 6k gold ahead. Uh, not anymore, though. We're 4k gold ahead because of Dragon, but it's still fine. Like, we have complete uh, map control. We got two turrets down. They have one, so, eh. Uh, it's uh, middle, middle turrets are down. So we just want to keep pushing, really. We want to keep sieging. Even though our team comp is not completely siege-oriented, because we actually have Wukong and Katarina and stuff like that, but uh, with Avaris and uh, Karma, oh, I think Katarina went AFK here, or... Yeah, disconnected. But yeah, with a with a virus and the karma, you can siege pretty decently uh, as it is. And if they want to engage onto you, they're gonna have to do it on top of Wukong's ultimate and Karma's ultimate. So it's not that bad. Um, we have everything covered pretty much. So I'm just trying to poke here. We're just trying to push middle middle lane again while Riven pushes top. So we we are going to have to respond to her push eventually. Um, but yeah, Varus is going down to, to respond to Riven, and I get caught here, and we're pretty much trying to, to push the line, but things aren't going so well. Um, but yeah, Varus ends up getting uh, getting a kill onto Riven, because she's not that strong. Um, now, I actually, this is not uh, a support tip, but this is a pretty cool um, thing that you can abuse on Wukong. Notice how he uses his W right before he, he gets hooked. So the clone gets hooked and not him. That's pretty neat play and he's been doing this uh, all freaking game long. So he's actually a pretty nice Wukong player. He tries to go in, couldn't really get onto Ezreal. Now he can though because Ezreal felt he was safe with his frontline and whatnot. I'm just speeding people up with uh, shields, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, crap a lot of kills. Didn't do much this fight, right? What I did was just speed people up, and they did all everything they needed to, pretty much. Uh, and I'm at 15 kills, uh, 15 assists, sorry, 22 minutes into the game. And once again, I'm using. Hold on a second, let me rewind this. Karma isn't too flashy, my you. So you probably aren't gonna notice a lot of the stuff that I'm doing. But notice how we're uh, going on to Riven here. What I'm, I'm using is just Mantra E, so I'm using Defiance to speed everyone up so they can follow up and get the kill on Riven and uh, just zone people back and not allow them to contest the turret in any way, shape or form and now we're pretty much going to try to back off. Um, I'm just uh, slowing people down so they get, really can't get Rengar, he uses ultimate and he actually escapes. Um, and yeah, time to go back because we just got another objective and we need to spend some gold. I actually get Le Leandris here just like I told you I wanted to because of the poke pretty much. Like, you, you have a lot of poke potential with uh, Leandris alone. You have your AP, you have the proc, you have its passive, so it's pretty cool. Um, no, notice that I, I'm, I'm support. I have one um, damage item, and uh, Ezreal got queued. Didn't even get queued by my. Didn't even get hit by my second Q proc, because I actually used it with Mantra. But he, he still got some pretty nice damage done. So yeah, once again, sieging. Karma is all about sieging, dudes. So um, get the turret, re-engage. Everyone goes high fee. I'm just trying to snare someone so we can get a kill. But now we notice that Varus isn't with us, so we probably should back off. But Karina goes hyphy, gets triple kill, no prop. It's Karina, dude. All good. Uh, yeah, like that's pretty much that's possible because of my uh, because of the freaking shields. Like shields plus freaking uh, 
Movement speed increase is damn OP. Now I didn't actually use that as soon as she got the triple kill, but I used that a little a little before so we could engage and uh, snare thrash and stuff like that. And uh, Varus gets gets another one v one kill against Riven, which is pretty damn hilarious. We're still trying to get the turret, but we probably can't. Uh, but yeah, Dugarin leaves the the turret range, so we now we can actually get some damage done. Now that's another thing that's not completely support oriented but i feel like i should know i uh, i should mention now notice that he actually he can actually uh, defend his turret while we are beneath it while we are in its range as soon as he steps out of the range though he's vulnerable he doesn't have the turret range uh, turret damage backing um him uh off so you if you're defending a turret always try to uh stick to your turret's range uh, if you want to defend it because otherwise you're just gonna leave the range and you're gonna get harassed back You're gonna take a lot more damage because people won't be afraid of the turret and you won't have as much damage backing you up So yeah back to spitting things up gonna recall here and I think I'm getting sorcerer shoes if I'm not mistaken No chalice. Yeah, so I'm getting chalice because I'm I'm having some mana issues um this isn't, uh, like, this is a, a pretty decent build for solo queue, actually. You don't really need to go for Leandris if you're playing with a team, but in solo queue it's actually pretty decent, because you're, you, you have utility, you have your skill set, you have your talisman utility, and you're still dealing damage while sieging, so you're helping your team uh, actually poke them before you engage. So, and yeah, like, in solo queue, you, it, it's always good to have some a little bit of damage if you don't trust your teammates. Uh, not not in this case though because Wukong was a fucking beast um, But I just wanted to help them out uh, siege better. So notice that top top lane uh, In top inhibitor is exposed because we actually got the turret down. So that's pretty much what we want to be fighting for So that's that uh, kind of explains why we just left middle turret there some top turret uh, top inhib is exposed So we just get it no biggie uh, and actually Katarina and Wukong are pretty damn fat, so is Varus, so we can team fight no problemo. And uh, yeah, let me just back off here. So notice how Katarina got caught. No problem, I'm just shielding her so she uh, doesn't get too, mu too much damage done onto her. And uh, notice that I have Talisman active right now, right? So I, I can actually use it. As soon as I see Wukong there, trying to go for the engage, I just wait a little bit, shield with mantra, so defiance, talisman, and that's 100% movement speed Wukong bursting people down with his ult, while Kanarina jumps in, while her ult gets uh, cancelled, but it's no, not a single problem, because now everything's uh, set to win. So uh, Garen actually ends up killing me. But it's no problem like that engage is so damn powerful and that is pretty much the power of karma she's not flashy she doesn't deal a lot of damages if you don't uh build damage i uh, <laughs> gary actually ends up getting killed it's no biggie um so yeah it, like that's the power of karma she's not that flashy but she has a lot of um utility for your team especially for siege comps so if you want to get turrets karma is the way to go if you want to Help your teammates engage better, Karma is the way to go. Like if you have a Volibear, a Hecarim, a Nudir on your team. Um, the, the movement speed increase that you'll uh, give your teammates just with uh, Defiance and uh, Talisman, it's it's so damn awesome. So sorry about that guys, uh, replay, the lol record is uh, kind of giving me a hard time, so that's pretty much why I wanted, I needed to divide this video into uh, two parts. Uh, I'm gonna just blend it all together um, uh, with Vegas or something like that, but yeah. Uh, so we're trying to do the Baron Dance here. Uh, we noticed um, Nautilus who gets engaged on and I actually didn't expect that much damage from Wukong uh, on the Nautilus. But yeah, so I'm using Defiance to help them out. Uh, Defiance and Talisman for that matter. Just uh, get Garen um, as fast as possible. I shield Varus because he was ignited. It was uh, getting focused, so we get um, Thresh there, didn't get Ezreal, but no biggie. I'm using uh, the shield on Wukong here to shield some of that of Riven's damage and to speed him up, so he can actually uh, get close onto her. But I don't think he's gonna 
is gonna be able to kill her. Uh, not really. But yeah, so middle and heavy is exposed. Oh yeah, he did kill her. Uh, middle and heavy is exposed. So we want what we want to do is pretty much get the inhib. Always play for objectives if you can. Like it doesn't. If if Riven was uh, actually backing off there, if Wukong had followed uh, us um, immediately, we probably could have gotten um, inhib a lot faster. But it, it was it was alright because he actually managed to kill her. But uh, if he didn't manage to kill her, it would have been kind of sucky because we wouldn't been wouldn't have been able to do this. Like if you if your team is getting uh, decimated and if your object if your turrets or inhibs are in jeopardy, then you can uh, try to stall people just by baiting them to follow you, so you can actually have a little extra time to um to, to for your teammates you, you can give your team teammates a, a little extra time to respawn and uh and defend so that's what riven was trying to do uh actually wukong managed to kill her pretty damn uh, fast so ended up everything ended up all right so um yeah ended up with 28 assists not the flashiest of games not the best of landing phases i this was like my uh, fifth karma game or something like that uh, on on this account, so I'm still not used to the uh, quick cast range or whatever. Um, so that's pretty much why I sucked so much <laughs> during the landing phase. Sorry about that, but uh, yeah, I hope this video helps, guys. If you still haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. Click the lantern, by the way. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Twitch. Uh, I'm, I'm, I stream these kind of games all the freaking time, like Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So make sure you follow that. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Uh, oh, and by the way, before I actually go, you can check my runes and masteries in this game on my on the end of the video's description. And I'll also have a guest appearance on my YouTube channel, um, talking a little bit more about Karma because you guys like her so much. So yeah, I hope you guys like that. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll keep you guys up to date on my social media pages. And yeah, that is pretty much all for now. So thank you for watching. I hope this wasn't too boring. And see you guys next time. Peace.